Hi everyone, welcome back to SGTV. We are back in Leicester College. Today I'm joined by someone with a lovely name. He's called Ben. <laughs> All right, so, so Ben, you're, a, you're a quite new to being a lecturer here at Leicester College, is yep. that right? Yeah, absolutely. Started six months ago. Okay. Former student here or? I wasn't, no. Uh, no, I was studying at Chesterfield College, uh, a bit further up north, local yeah. to where I am. So now you're, you're in glorious Leicester teaching? with Neil and all the, the amazing stuff. Absolutely loving it, okay. absolutely loving it. So anyway, today, right, we're gonna do one of these, uh, these Google boards. So basically I'll explain the, the, the situation. Um, our, our team of marketing, they've gone onto Google or a search engine and they've typed in uh, things to do with lecturers. So like do lecturers and then basically printing off what people have genuinely searched. So yep. this isn't things we've made up. People have genuinely asked these questions. Okay. okay so. Half of them will probably be me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they are. Do lecturers get summer off UK? Uh, not all of summer. It's a bit of a misconception. Most of it. Uh, I'll be lying if I said the holidays weren't, weren't pretty favourable. Yeah. Uh, but no, there is a lot of admin that we have to do, a lot of work that we have to do in preparation for our, our teaching year. I might year. add on to that. A teaching train, teacher training day is really a thing, or is that just you lot just sat around drinking coffee? And... <laughs> no, I wish they were. Yeah. I've only had one so far, and I ran around and probably did more work in that one day than I do on a normal day. Fair That's enough. Really crazy. Fair enough. Okay. Answer the second question. Do lecturers have favourites? <sighs> I would say we probably have favourite groups. Uh, personally, you don't probably have a shouldn't have been No, you can't have, there's so many different characters, so many different people, you can't have favourites. And it also, what, who's in your good books one week might be somebody different the next week. Not even if they're trying to bribe you and bring it in? Oh, I've, I've had people try and bribe me, yeah. yeah. Um, you accepted yeah. them? Uh, well, I must, I'd be lying <laughs> if, I'd, if I'm lying instead, I hadn't had a couple of sweets. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right, so the next one. Do lecturers check word counts? Check your word counts. It's not very applicable to myself because I'm in a practical setup at the minute. <clears throat> um, I know that some of my colleagues do because uh, it's an important, it's part of the requirements of a task and if we set some of tasks, that's what they need to be achieving. Surely there's a, like a quick button for that on Word or whatever they're using to check that kind of thing. Oh, your word counts <laughs> comes up on the bottom. Right then, next one. Do lecturers get less boring? I haven't made this up. People have genuinely get Googled less this. boring. Do they get less boring? Uh, so get that, less boring. I suppose that's, that's a... implying that they're boring to start off with. Well, I think it's a little bit unfair. Some of these just, just started. I like to think that I'm not boring. Um, Apparently not, according to Google. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't answer that one, surely. Uh, I would have thought I'm probably going to get more boring as the years go yeah. on. <laughs> Fair enough. I, I think, to be honest, though, this one, it comes down to, to, the, to the tutor, doesn't it? To Absolutely. the lecturer. You're going to have some good, some bad, some boring. We all remember that one tutor that we had as well. Yeah. I'd say Neil, who runs the place here, he's definitely memorable, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, next one. Do, do lecturers have coffee breath? <laughs> it's... It's something I'm so conscious of. Yeah, absolutely. I can feel people nodding from behind and the camera. Drink, drink four, coffee, four cups of coffee a day. Chewing gum is a must. Yeah. <laughs> I must admit. I, I'm, I'm a strong advocate of this one. I don't drink coffee because of that reason. The teachers uh, and lecturers breathing down your neck and oh. Um, yeah, I, we're all aware of it. We're all aware of it. Is it part and parcel of being a lecturer? You just have to do it. No, well, you, you might get five minutes to grab a coffee in between you prepping for your next lesson. So it's what keeps you going. And then just breathe it all over your <laughs> classroom. No, well, try not to breathe them with students. <laughs> right, that's the next one. Do lecturers get paid well? Uh, I'd say coming from industry, I'll be completely frank, the money's a little bit less than what you could be earning out there. I was an electrician, uh, but it makes up for it in other ways. So the holiday, as we've already discussed, is a big, Paid big holiday. part of it. Paid holiday. And also the structure. That was what attracted me to the job. Um, I know when I'm coming home. Yeah. You, do you know what I mean? I, I, I know when, I'm, when my working hours are set. Um, but as you proceed through the ranks, 
You know, you, the opportunities present themselves, more and more, and more money. Um, so yeah, starting off probably not, but there's opportunities, there's lots of development, lots of opportunities for progression. Cool. I, I, I like that answer because it's something we always sort of try and push on, on our channel is the different routes you can take as an electrician. And like you said, it, initially it might not necessarily be as well paid as running your own business or being on the tools, but it, it could be. It's a side step, it's another direction, and you can take that as far as, as you want, really, can't yeah, you? Yeah, so. a lot of people think that once they've done the qualification, that's all they can do. They'll be an electrician, but there's so many different options available to you. Do lecturers know what they are doing? <laughs> uh, uh, yes, yes we do. You should um, do, I'd, I'd hope. But, but yeah, yeah. We're, we're all well versed in what we do. We might specialise in different areas. I know certainly in our department we've got a broad range of skills from lots of different backgrounds. Um, but yeah, we all tend to know what we're doing That's good. pretty well. Yeah. That fills me with hope. At least. <laughs> so only two more questions left. So this hasn't been too bad, actually. I think uh, what people are Googling isn't that bad at the no. minute. Uh, do lecturers need qualifications? So, yes. That's a good question, actually. Yeah, so I, I don't know if I'm a special case. Uh, at the moment, I'm doing my qualifications as part of the job. Is um, that the... It, what qualification is that to teach? It's peace, something, isn't it? Yeah, uh, so I'm doing, I'm currently doing my trainer's assessor's qualification, so that allows me to work in this practical environment and make sure that the assessments that are being done are being completed correctly and sign off that they're being done correctly. Um, in the start of the next year, I'm going to be doing my certificate in education, which is a level five qualification, uh, which will allow me to uh, teach all the theory aspects as well. Okay, cool. Last question. What have we got? This is, do lecturers care about students? That's quite tame, actually. I was expecting a lot worse questions. So do, do, lect do lecturers care about their students? Absolutely. And, and, and sometimes it's tough love. Sometimes it's, you know, the metaphorical arm around the shoulder. But that's the reason we're here, you know, to, to help see these people through into their future careers. Um, that's what attracted me to the job. I've had apprentices in the past and it's exactly the same. You want the best for your students, even though they might not think it all the time. That's, that's what you're here for at the end of the day. Yeah. Do you ever find it hard when you might, you might take a liking to a student because you know they've got potential, they know they've got what it takes and they might not necessarily be applying that and you think they could be doing more? It's, yes, it's one of the it's probably the most frustrating part of the job. Yeah. Uh, because when you see somebody with all the talent that they've got, um, and you just want to make the most of it, uh, and sometimes they don't, you can't, you can't force people to do everything the perfect way every time. People got to learn from their own mistakes. Uh, and I think yeah. that pretty much answers that last question quite yeah. well, doesn't it? Do lecturers care about students? If you're, if you're wanting them to do better, then you obviously do care. So. All the time. Here we have a good, good lecturer here. So <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that brings us to the end of this episode. Hope you found that fun, useful. I want to thank you for nope, coming on and doing you. this. As always, please make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and we'll see you next time. Hi, and welcome back to SGTV. So today we're at Leicester College, and uh, one of the things we thought about doing is getting one of the students here to go on one of these boards where we're going onto Google or any search engine and we're typing in basic things such as do apprentices, are apprentices, and then we're, we're just seeing what people have actually searched. So some dodgy ones in here. So today we've got Luca. Yeah. So good. Luca, before we, before we get into this, just tell us about you know, what you do, what level you're at, uh, why you're at Leicester College. Yeah, I'm a T-level student at Leicester College, currently studying electrical installation, and I'm on an industry placement at the moment, which leads to an apprenticeship. Okay, and you're doing this out of um, fear because your, your lecturer made you come and do this episode. Yeah, yeah. Basically, I was forced. <laughs> right then, so uh, I haven't seen many of these questions, so I'm going to peel one off and yeah. just give me an honest answer. This is, this is what people have actually, actually Googled. So, first one Do apprentices work hard? No. I'm joking, yeah, they do, yeah, they do, yeah, no, they do, yeah. Do you work hard? I work hard, yeah. Yeah. I have to work hard. Yeah. I'll get sacked. 
Okay, so there you go. Yeah. But do, do, does your employer actually think you work hard? Or does yeah, he does, yeah, yeah. Okay, so honest answer there. Not sure every apprentice would give the same answer, but there yeah, you I go. work hard. It's because it's your boss is watching, isn't it? Yeah. Right, second one. Do apprentices pay tax? I don't think so. I don't know. Do you get paid? Yeah, yeah, paid, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you, but don't, you don't know if you pay tax? I'm not sure. God knows, I thought I'd just wait till payday and then, yeah, go with the flow. So he's obviously getting paid too much money if he doesn't actually know he's paying tax. So there you go, there's an incentive to be an apprentice. Right, but, so the next one. Do apprentices get treated badly? No, they don't. I hear jokes here and there, but get treated really well. It depends who you work with. You could work with some old, horrible person, and yeah, and you wouldn't get treated well, but I get treated well. Yeah, okay, that's good. Again, you're not saying that out of fear because your boss is watching. No, no, I genuinely do. But do you see apprentices, um, friends, people you work with on, or in college who do get treated badly? No, it just depends how you take it, because some people take jokes too serious, and yeah. But no, I think it's well good. Yeah, good stuff. All right, then, next one. If I can peel this off. Do apprentices know what they are doing? Well, to an extent. If it's something new, I won't have a clue. But if it's something we've done before, yeah, I, I know quite a bit what to do. Yeah? There's some jobs I don't have a clue what I'm doing. I yeah. just stood there. <laughs> Clueless, but yeah. yeah. But, that, but that's when you can rely on yeah, exactly, yeah. the guys you're working with. or yeah. Your boss should help you. Yeah. 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 All right, then. Next one. Do, sorry, how do apprentices learn? So a bit more of a, a serious question, that one. How do, you, how do you find you learn? Well, I learn by basically watching what he does and, and then applying it. For example, if we were like, switching a new board, he'd show me where things go and how it works, and he'd let me have a go. Obviously, if I mess it up, yeah. he has to fix it. But you, you learn more That's like, you learn them, by, yeah, by watching and then um, applying it when you need to. Have you, have you found there's been big mistakes you've made from doing not it? Not really, because I've not really had um, anything that serious go wrong. So that's but, good. That's but mainly, uh, yeah, not really at all. A credit to the people that are teaching you, including the, the yeah, lecturers yeah. who are standing behind off camera now. Uh, the next one is, how do apprentices add value? You're just an extra pair of hands, aren't you? you think about it, if you're working at the top of the stairs and your kit's downstairs, you have to keep running up and down. Uh, you can just send your, your worker down the stairs all day. It saves yeah. you there more you time. And, and obviously it's going to go to, to exactly. bigger things yeah, than that, exactly, yeah. So you're going, to, you're going to progress, you're going to get better, you're going to be able to do certain jobs yeah, exactly, that yeah. you know, your, your boss can put you on and it's going to add to that company. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right, the next one. Ooh. Are apprentices glued to their phone? Well, I'm not. <laughs> but some people are, yeah. Depends if you're interested or not. If you're not, some people just go on their phone, but I mean, you don't really learn anything. But some people are. Yeah. So you actually, you, you actually sound quite mature compared to some of the yeah, yeah. apprentices we've spoken to. Um, the next one. Are apprentices bothered? In what way? What about what they're doing? In any way, yeah. About what they're doing, about the, the work they're doing. Well, it depends if they chose to do it or they just got put on to doing it, do you know what I mean? Yeah. As in, in, in the industry themselves, do you think there's people that have been put into it without really... Well, there are some people who get told by, let's say, their dad, being an electrician, it's good money, and they think, oh, we're here for the money. They don't actually enjoy it. But, yeah. But you chose to do it? That's I genuinely to chose do. to do it, yeah. I, yeah. I find interest in it, personally, but some people don't. Yeah. It's there for the money. I think, I think with any job, there's money to be made, exactly. but... If you're, what's the saying goes, if you, if you enjoy what you're doing, you're not working. Exactly, you're not, yeah. So if you're enjoying what you're doing, then keep at it. And if young people like yourself are getting into the industry and they're enjoying it and making money, then it's even better, isn't no it? No cost anymore. Last one. Are apprentices worth it? Well, yeah. If you think about it, it comes out of a job at the end. You're getting paid for doing what you want to do. You're learning. So, yeah, I'd say it is. Yeah. Personally. There we go. Short and sweet, but thank you for coming on the show and answering our questions. That's all right. Yeah, there you go.